Well, hello there, motherfuckers. And I figured that, you know, why not do a little theory here? Um, so, I mentioned in my teaser trailer reaction to The Rise of Skywalker that Emperor Palpatine is coming back. Old Palps is back. Um, but I said that he's obviously probably not going to be, you know, a normal human being. He's not going to be a physical being. He's probably going to be a spirit. He's probably going to be a force ghost, much like, um, you know, Obi-Wan or Yoda, or, you know, as we saw at the, at the end of Return of the Jedi, you, um, you had Anakin. So there's different rules. If you read the books and the comics about, you know, uh, dark force ghosts, and how, you know, they're not allowed to leave a certain perimeter of where they died. So, you know, there was Hello Greedo, who a, was a great Star Wars channel, by the way. And you should subscribe to him if you haven't already. He talked about the, um, the, the refuse that was left of the Death Star. And we could see that in the uh, teaser trailer. And he, he brought up a theory of what if... Uh, Palpatine haunts this. I don't think that they're going to go for that haunted house type of thing. I think that if they're going to get Ian McDermott, and being that this is probably going to be the last Star Wars film for quite some time, I, I think that probably a after Episode 9, I don't think that they're going to go to 10 right away. I think that they're probably going to take quite a bit of time off, probably a good five years or so. It's just a theory, just like this is. And I think they're probably going to concentrate on a lot of side stories. You know, they announced The Mandalorian, you know, that's going to be on Disney+. Plus. So, there's going to be a lot of different things that Disney's going to take care of with the Star Wars license, probably before they move on the tent. So, they're probably going to get as much out of Ian McDermott as they can within the two and a half hours that, you know, they're going to use him. Obviously, he's not going to be there for the whole two and a half hours. But this is what I think is going to happen. I think that he is probably going to mentor uh, Kylo Ren. I think he is going to mentor him. I think that he is going to get inside Ben's head, get inside Kylo's head, and he's going to say, so you want to be like Darth Vader. You want to be the second coming of Darth Vader. You know, that was something that we saw a little bit more of in Force Awakens. They kind of calmed down with the whole Darth Vader fanboy type of thing and following it in the footsteps. But, I mean, it's still lingering there from the first movie. So, I would guess that probably J.J. Abrams is probably going to want to elaborate more on that obsession. The helmet, Kylo Ren's whole thing. You know, Snoke told them that the helmet was silly. Take it off. And we pretty much didn't see it for the rest of the movie. You see that he's fixing the helmet, which kind of means that I think J.J. Abrams kind of likes the helmet. I think Ryan Johnson didn't really like the helmet because some people have problems with the helmet. They didn't really like the whole Vader thing, but it seems like J.J. Abrams likes it. How do I feel about it? Um, You know, he could wear the helmet, but there's no real purpose to him having the helmet other than it being a cool look. You know, it, it's kind of like Darth Revan in, in a way from the Knights of the Old Republic games. You know, it's like Revan didn't really need the helmet, uh, you know, so it's like it's just kind of a look. It's a Sith Lord kind of thing. And, you know, you've got Darth Nihilus and everything, but we never knew how like Nihilus looked. So we're not going to get into that right now, but it's like kind of like a Sith thing. But I think that Adam Driver has a good enough look where he could kind of just be on his own, just have the face. So I don't know if he's going to really, really wear the mask. It looked like he was fixing it. But anyway, I think that Palpatine is probably going to say, hey, you know, you could probably pick up the mantle where Vader failed. And, you know, you uh, can learn some things from me and I could guide you so you won't you know, had the same shortcomings as Vader, as Anakin Skywalker did. I think that they're going to want to push, you know, uh, Ben, Kylo, as being more ruthless than Vader. Now, that's going to be kind of hard to do. But here's the thing. I mean, we've kind of got a similar situation. We've seen moments 
where Kylo has been torn, but he's kind of really made a statement. He's really at the dark side. He has this kind of weird relationship with um with, with Ray. You know, he kind of really wants her to turn to the the dark side. There's some kind of weird romance thing going on there, and you know, a lot of people want to see them kiss. That's like some weird fan fiction that they have, and you know. I'm not really so much for that romance part. I don't think that they're going to turn um, Rey. You know, that's the thing that they kind of teased a little bit in The Last Jedi. But it was kind of like Skywalker going to the dark side. The way how they kind of made people kind of think about that is because originally they were going to have Luke turn to the dark side in, um, in Return of the Jedi. If they were going to keep him... As, you know, as like a Sith, I don't know. Uh, I don't think they've ever anyone's ever really elaborated on that. I don't think if George Lucas has ever really spoken so far in advance. I, I think that's kind of an idea that they kind of killed early on. But I don't know how evil they're going to make him in The Rise of Skywalker, meaning Kylo Ren. But that's kind of why Palpatine is here. And I think this is kind of obvious in a way. I think this is the way that they're going to go. We're going to see, you know, obviously, I think Skywalker is going to appear as a Force ghost many times throughout this film. He's probably going to mentor Rey, that, you know, so we kind of have flashbacks and kind of have that co connectivity of, you know, we saw Yoda with Luke in The Last Jedi. And, of course, you know, Obi-Wan with Luke throughout the uh, trilogy, the original trilogy. So what a better way, especially because we've never seen this before at any Star Wars movie where a Sith Lord actually appears as a Force ghost. So I think it's about time that we, we get that. There's never been really a reason to ever have one because the Emperor, you know, was throughout pretty much all the movies. And I think he sees that, you know, well, Snoke was there. Snoke was mentoring um kylo but now snoke is gone he struck him down so they're probably going to say that like snoke wasn't powerful enough but the emperor you know him being the more popular character i think that they're going to probably want to get you know palpatine if they're going to have him on screen i really don't think that they're going to waste ian mcdermott's time with like small little cameos i mean if they're going to have the guy laugh maniacally at the end of the trailer don't you kind of think it's going to be a big deal i think it is but people are saying oh this is going to be cringy and stuff once again you know if you want my thoughts on the reactions uh, of fans to the teaser trailer go watch that video it's a few videos back but i think that this is going to end up being a pretty good reintroduction of the character I think that there's a lot of potential here. You know, Ian McDermott playing off of Adam Driver, who's a really good actor. Really good with his facial expressions. Not as good as Ian McDermott. But having these two on screen, and then, you know, imagine that we kind of get... Wouldn't that be kind of cool if Luke and the Emperor come face-to-face -face as Force Ghosts? Not that they're going to fight or anything, but it would be pretty awesome to kind of see them in the same room, in the same vicinity you know, and just kind of like doing like, you know, trying to rally their, their respective, um, you know, apprentice that that's going to be kind of cool. And I think that's the way it's going to go. So I'm really looking forward. You know, I thought about it a lot. Um, it, you know, the past couple of days, you know, now that the trailer has been out and I was kind of like, this is going to be a pretty good way um, for them to reintroduce the Emperor without it seeming like, oh, we're going back to the same... Because I know a lot of people are doing that. People are like, oh, this is desperate. We're going to go back to the same characters again. And, you know, I could see that from a, cer a certain perspective. That's why I was such a fan of The Last Jedi. Because it had the balls to do something different. That's what, you know, that's what the crazy thing is. You know, it it it's like people are saying, oh, the Emperor's coming back. This is so cringy. So, you know, when they try to bring familiarity, familiarity back, like I can barely say that word today, um, people seem to have a problem with it. But then when Last Jedi came along and tried to really switch things up big time, people had a problem with that. It really shows that you can't please everybody, but I'm not going to go into that right now. That's pretty much all I wanted to share, is I think that it's a pretty cool theory. I think that it's definitely a theory that, 
that seems pretty realistic. I think that they would definitely do something like what I'm describing here in this video. I think that they would definitely go that path. And I think it's going to be pretty good. I, I really do have high hopes for this movie. Um, you know, I, I think I deserve to have high hopes for this movie because I really did enjoy Force Awakens. And, um, and I liked The Last Jedi even more. So, of course I'm going to be excited for this movie. Especially with the perspective of seeing Palpatine and Kylo Ren together as one force. I think that's awesome. Just Palpatine coming back from beyond the grave. Showing us something that we've never seen before. I think that that's going to be really good. I, I think it's going to make for a great movie. It's going to make for some great scenes and some great dialogue and some great moments for the Star Wars saga. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And if you think I'm just crazy and, oh my god, he likes The Last Jedi! Stop him! He's a menace to society! We can hit the thumbs down and tell me that down below. I'd appreciate it. And click the bell so you get all the notifications when I post all my new videos. And guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.